This is CPM Calculus Chapter 4, Number 109. Find the area of the region in the second quadrant under the function y is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x. All right, so here the one thing that's important to remember, of course, is the quadrants. The top right is quadrant 1, this is quadrant 2, quadrant 3, and this is quadrant 4, right? And it starts here and it goes around counterclockwise. So we want the area in the second quadrant. So we want the area under the curve in quadrant two. So let's go ahead and graph our graph our curve just to get a good perspective of what it's going to look like. So I'm going to put an x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x, right? Go ahead and graph this. Okay, so I see that... Um, the function, right, is in quadrant. So let's graph the function. I'm going to go ahead and use green here and graph it. It's like this, right? So this is what my function looks like, right? And it passes the, the origin 0, 0, right? And I could check that by plugging in um, the point at x is 0, right? If I plug in x is 0, this becomes 0, 0, 0, and so y is 0. So this point is 0, 0, because at x equals to 0, y is equal to 0, right? So what is this point right here? Okay, so that point, I can go ahead and um, find it by looking at where does this equation equal to 0, right? Where else does y equal to 0? Because y equals to 0 at this point, this point, and this point, right? Three places. And we already know that one of them is where x is equal to 0. What is this value, right? Because we want to find the area under the curve here. And we can go ahead and take the integral from this value and tell this value to get us that area. So y is equal to 0 when x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x is equal to 0. I want to just factor this. Um, we can't use the quadratic equation, but I can factor an x out. Oops, this is 3x minus 3 equals to 0, right? And now um, I can factor this more, right? I can, use the, I can use the box method or I can use the quadratic equation. Um, but I'm going to use the x method. I want two numbers that multiply to get negative 3 and add to get 2. And what does that do um, well 3 times negative 1 multiply to get negative 3 add to get negative 2 so this is going to be x minus 1 and x plus 3 when we factor right so this tells me that x equals to 0 right from here or x minus 1 equals to 0 from here or let me put the calculator away x plus 3 equals to 0 from this term right so x equals to 0 or add 1 or x equals to 1 or subtract 3, x equals to negative 3. So this point here on the graph is x equals to negative 3. We already have x equals to 1 and I mean x equals to 0 and this is x equals to 1. So the area in under the curve in the second quadrant, right, the area is equal to the integral from negative 3 to 0, right, x is negative 3 until 0, of our function x cubed plus 2x squared minus 3x dx. All right, so that is the area. Now let's compute it. Um, I guess one, one way is to use our calculators, but um, let's do it by hand because this is just going to be the antiderivative using the, the reverse of the power rule. So it's going to be x to the power of 4 over 4 plus 2x cubed over 3 minus 3x squared over 2. And let me write this squared better. And we don't plus c because this is a definite integral. We write the boundary from negative 3 to 0. All right? So now we go ahead and plug in 0. So 0 to the 4th, 0 cubed, x or 0 squared. This is all going to be 0 the first term. Minus plug in negative 3. Negative 3 to the 4th over 4 plus 2 times negative 3 cubed over 3 minus 3 negative 3 squared over 2. 
right? So let's go ahead and simplify that. Negative 3 to the 4th. Now I'm just going to use my calculator. Negative 3 to the 4th. 81 over 4. So it's positive 81 over 4 plus negative 3 cubed. So that's negative 27 times 2 divided by 3. That's negative 18. Finally, we have negative 3 squared, right? So that's 9 times 3, 27 over 2. So minus 27 over 2, okay? That's so far, that's what we have. So 0 minus, I'm going to put this in my calculator. 81 over 4 minus 18 minus 27 over 2. So it's negative 45 over 4 here. The minus and negative cancel out. So it's just 45 over 4. I'm going to get it approximately. So 45 divided by 4, or just put it in decimal form, is 11.25 and its area units squared. All right. So that ends for a CPM calculus chapter 4, number 109.